Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to do here is solve this equation. And uh, it's going to take me a few steps to solve this, but uh, it shouldn't be too difficult uh, to do, um, at least for you out there. For me, you know, I've been doing this for 25 uh, plus years, so I can kind of do this in my sleep. But when you're looking at it, when you look at this equation, you're saying, okay, you have 2 times x minus 5 equals negative 14. All right, so what is the first thing we want to do? All right, so let me ask you that question. You should maybe pause the video and just kind of think about it for yourself. What's the first thing you want to do here? All right, well, the first thing you always want to do when you have an equation and there's parentheses involved, okay, that are parentheses around a difference or a sum, okay, something that's adding or subtracting some sort of expression like we have here, okay, you want to be on the lookout for that because that's an indication that you need to use the distributive property to kind of clear those parentheses away. I can't really see what's going on clearly with these parentheses. So the first thing you want to do is clear them away by using uh, the distributive property. So let's go ahead and apply that and hopefully you know what I'm talking about. It's where we take this number, okay, this is 2 times x minus 5 and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to distribute the 2. Okay, I'm going to take 2 and I'm going to multiply it by x. I'm also going to take that 2 and I'm going to multiply it by that negative 5. So this is going to be 2 times x minus 2 times this, uh, 5, or negative 5 is going to be negative 10, equals negative 14. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. All right, so now I'm looking at my equation. Okay, now it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, I have 2x minus 10 equals negative 14. I'm keeping my eye on the prize, right? What's, what's the objective of, of solving this equation? Okay, I want to get x equals my number here, my solution. Okay, right now I have 2x minus 10 uh, equals negative 14. So before um, you can kind of get x equals, we have to get rid of this negative 10 and, and this 2 next to this x. So you always take care of anything that has to deal with uh, addition and subtraction first before multiplication and division with uh, solving equations. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So 2x minus 10 equals negative 14. I'm going to add 10 to both sides of the equation. Okay, now Some of you out there might know what the next step is going to be. We're going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 2. But we'll see that in a second. Okay, So I'm going to clear away, I'm kind of chipping away with everything that's near this x. Okay, So I have 2x minus 10 equals negative 14. I'm going to add 10 to both sides of the equation and I'm going to add down in a column manner. Okay, Always in a column. So now I have 2x plus nothing is 2x negative 10 plus 10 is 0. So on the left hand side of the equation it just leaves me with 2x. Okay, so I'm getting closer. It's not x but it's you know it's not uh, 2x minus 10. I just have 2x. Okay, we're going to take this thing step by step. So we have 2x on the left hand side and on the right hand side I have negative 14 plus 10. Okay, so what's that? What's negative 14 plus 10? Another area where students are weak when solving equations. That's negative 4. Okay, so now we have 2x equals negative 4. All right, so last but not least, remember I want x equals my solution, my number, but here I have 2x equals negative 4. So to get x by itself, okay, this is 2 times x, I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication, okay, which is division. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. All right, remember when you're, you're dealing with an equation, you can change it any way you want. Okay, you can do anything to it that you like as long as you, you're, you're fair. Okay, So like, for example, I'm adding 10 to the left-hand side, but I'm also adding 10 to the right-hand side. Um, over here, I'm dividing uh, the left-hand side of the equation by 2, but I'm also dividing the right-hand side of the equation by 2. And that's the key thing to keep in mind when you're solving these uh, equations in algebra. All right, so this leaves me with x equals... Okay, what's negative 4 divided by 2? Hopefully you said negative 2. Okay, so if you didn't get that right, if you don't know what that is, then obviously you want to go back and work on your positive and negative numbers. And that's it. X equals negative 2. So this is, uh, you know, takes us a, took us a few steps. The key thing was the, um, recognizing that we had to use the distributor property to kind of clear away those parentheses and get going. All right, so I hope this little video helped you out. Um, please come by our website, algebratesthelper.com. Um, it's a great free resource. Okay, a lot of videos, a lot of awesome tutorials designed to make math easy to learn. Okay, take care and good luck.